All right, folks, I want to welcome you to today's video. Shout out to my buddies who hooked me up with this. I got to head up to uh, Subic Town. Called my buddy Francis, but Francis said, man, I'm, yeah, they're still cracking down on people over 60 being out, which is absolutely fucking ridiculous at this point. So I uh, <clears throat> got Jason on the way in the Lamborghini. And we're going to head up there to Subic Town. I'll show you guys around. But it's uh, at the point of ridiculousness. On this side of the river. On the Subic side. We're on uh, modified enhanced community quarantine. Fucking bullshit titles. You go on the Barrio Brodo side. The Longpo side. They're on uh, general quarantine. General community quarantine. This... This play on terminology is like children fighting in, in fucking preschool. It's, I, I can't even bring myself to even discuss these terms. I just, I feel like a child in elementary school. Anyhow, today's Tuesday. It's one of my yard leave days. It's day 60 something of being locked down in this motherfucker. Thanks for joining me. Folks, so I'm rolling out in the Lamborghini. I got my anti-government bullshit device strapped to my face in the low ready position. Ready position. Boom. Oh shit, folks! That checkpoint is unmanned. Checkpoint is unmanned. Could there possibly, possibly? be some changes for the positive here there could be I got fresh mangoes for sale right there to my right coming up on a checkpoint here will anybody fuck with us okay no folks my goodness it appears it appears that uh, things may be loosening up here, after all. A lot of people out on the streets. Now look, the closer you get, let me just explain it to you. Like, in here you're gonna see a mix of like 50 50 percent of people wearing masks the older folks they're not wearing no mask they don't give a fuck but as we get closer to uh national highway and of course there's a police and military checkpoint on the left side of the river on the long post side of the river you're gonna see more people wearing masks why because there's fucking cops around get away from the cops there's no motherfuckers wearing masks and there's no bodies in the street take a look at the street do you see bodies in the street no you don't all right so here we go we come up here plenty of pork over there chicken vegetables good looking vegetables folks holy shit it is a fucking traffic jam headed southbound into along a pole i want you to check out this traffic now there there didn't seem to be a whole lot of uh backlog at the checkpoint going northbound into zambales but just take a look at this traffic that's going southbound towards uh sbma the old subic bay naval base and along a pole my god funny because everybody's putting signs in their vehicles that say food delivery do not delay just get on photoshop make you a sign that says food delivery or frontliner put it in your vehicle do not delay and nobody gives a fuck <laughs> you just wasted your fucking time Good, it still got traffic backed up. Okay, so traffic is backed up all the way to uh, 
Chicago Marketing Corporation where those used motorbikes are. So you're gonna be waiting, uh, waiting in line for a little bit if you're trying to go southbound from Subic Town headed towards Longapo, my friends. And that's just the way it is. Starting to see uh, life slowly returning to normal, even though my current situation has went from bad to worse because we didn't transition to general quarantine. We transitioned to modified enhanced community quarantine with a side of Saturday and Sunday hard lockdown. And you don't get fries with that, my friends. Look at all this shit here breeding fucking mosquitoes. Okay, I'm thinking Zika virus. That dude out there said, fuck it, I don't give a fuck. I'm sitting out here amidst the mosquitoes chilling and fuck that coronavirus mask okay here's the 7-eleven over here it appears to me that nobody is manning the checkpoint going to the white rock beach resort that is a good sign i don't know about on the lockdown days because our days are Tuesdays and Thursdays that we're free to roam. So they may just be pulling personnel off the checkpoints on the open days. And tomorrow they go back to manning them. But it is a welcome sight to see checkpoints that are not manned. Slowly but surely, this little fucking two month run of martial law and uh, ridiculousness slowly is being lifted all right now there were two cool yes let's check this checkpoint here okay they got a checkpoint but nobody manning it those guys over there were selling fish they weren't worried about checking passes So these little side alleys, which before 100% you could not go down, uh, looks like some of them, not all of them, I'm still seeing some blockades over here going towards the uh, Subic Bay side, but some of them have opened up, believe it or not. Obviously got the water place open. All right, got a little auto supplies, got their doors open. There's a Palawan with only two customers. Five people at that place exercising their distance. Now right there, there that checkpoint's still in effect. That was still in effect with uh, people manning it. I just saw a sign that said face mask 10 pesos. Okay, right there, you can go down there. We got a line at the El Hillier, but the fresh options is open, no waiting. God damn, I should start announcing this shit. I should be a horse race. Now over there, still blocked in. But it appeared that that old lady opened the gate on her own. That's opened up. Folks, it's a pleasure to see all these little side streets going down to Subic Bay about a hundred meters in length which is absolutely ridiculous they have opened up coca-cola big load of royal right there on that truck all right coming up into the hill this little slope here we'll see what uh what we got to offer up here at uh, my pool of little place. Still got this little beach resort locked up tighter than a drum. Because nobody can go to the beach. You might get the fucking coronavirus if you swim in the beach by yourself. You can get bit by a jellyfish. But the coronavirus is the bigger threat. Got this school yet here walking. All right, so we crested that hill, folks. 
Coming down in the turn too on a downhill slope with this little tour. Rocking on with it. All right. A little graffiti on the walls. Coming down the hill. Got Sea Biscuit in front of us with no bumper. It's Ricky Racer on the outside. And Ricky Racer number two trying to pass and get there 1.2 seconds faster than the rest of us. You got Ricky Racer that made it trying to pass one more tricycle, but there's a parked car on the side. What happens? He's got to cut back into turn three. All right, coming into Kalapandayan. Kalapandayan is the town of shaved off uh, buildings with the front shaved off of them. I think I, that's what I'll call it. No, we have three people waiting at the Ill Hillier over there. We got construction places open. We got buildings with the fronts chopped off of them. Folks, it's pandemonium here. We got a Kuya digging through the trash. There you go. This is the city of buildings with the front chopped off of them. There you go, sliced. Honda Place looks like it might be opening. Oh my goodness. You can actually buy a fucking motorbike these days. Maybe. My goodness, got a dude pedaling a bicycle taxi. I'm so excited and I just can't hide it. Aw, oh, fuck. There's a delivery right there. Some gasolina. Oh, the band of gasolina. The band of gasolina. But I'm so excited and I just can't hide it. No business at the funeral home. That's always a good sign for the living. But a bad sign for the funeral home. Here we go. The birthing station had about 12 dudes hanging out there. So I don't know if that means there's 12 pregnant ladies up in there. I don't know. But I'm interested in stopping by on the way back and saying, my goodness. I'm interested in stopping by on the way back and finding out if there's 12 dudes in front of a birthing clinic, does that mean there's 12 pregnant ladies? All right, folks, got to take the uh, got to take the mask up to the high ready position because we've got police. All right, we're clear. Boom, back to the low ready where you guys can hear me. I'm gonna tell you right now. You can say I'm crazy. What they call the people in the Initially the COVID idiots, whatever, I don't I don't fucking know. I don't fucking care. Here we go to Mung and saw Mercury drug got a little waiting area exercising the distancing. Alright, coming up on uh Subic Municipal Building. Looks like there's some activity. And again the middle is right down through that alley. Jolly Bee. Oh yeah, the, the drive-thru is packed out. We got people inside. What do we got over here? The Metro Bank is always a line when that motherfucker's open. All right. We got people everywhere, my friends. Pandemonium here in Subic Town, I can tell you. Got the Atoll still closed down. Still closed. And that's usually a pretty popular place, so I don't know what their strategy is pure goal no waiting fuck on the way back i may try to go in there and get some, uh get some uh goddamn barbecue sauce is that running low that roof up there doing the gasoline i would not want to hang out underneath that got a birthing home right there locked up tighter than a drum now they are manning well no i think that dude was just using that checkpoint as a place to chill Oh, 
yeah, the Superbike's place is open. Hell yeah, folks. I'm feeling fucking motivated now. I'm feeling like uh, I'm rejuvenated. Like there's light at the end of the tunnel. I'm thinking that next thing around the corner is the, the bars are going to be open. And I'm going to tell you what. I'm going to tell you what. When they open them bars and they do that fucking Sons of Bacchus, that SOP night down in Barrio Barreto, I'm going. I'm going. I'm taking wife number one, girlfriend number one. We going down there to look at some titties. I'm gonna be so goddamn happy when the bars reopen. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bar hop every one of those bars. The first night they open, I'm gonna be a bar hopping motherfucking fool. Selling fish on the side of the road. Got the produce open. Folks, you might find this video a little bit long, but if you're from Supertown, I think you might appreciate. Oh shit, got a meat wagon rolling through. Got a man down. Got a man down. Pulling into the Walter Mart. There is no line outside. Now, there's obviously a line inside. I know that 100%. But we're pulling in. All right, folks, loose inside the Walter Mart. And the Mong Insol is open. Greenwich is open and there was a phone shop back there. It's open and It just says like limit two people in there. So I'm gonna come back here. See what we got going on Looks like this spot is open. Is it? Yeah customer uh, employee in there I'm loose in the supermarket at the Walter Mart. I don't even know what I'm looking for because I didn't make a list. Priorities, my friend. Priorities. Still in effect. No liquor. That 4G hooked up, my friends. To make a quick note, the Ace Hardware is open. You can go in there now and shop. You know, obviously all these shops have a little limit on how many you can go in there. It looked like the food court's open. Uh, there's fast food. Several, most of the fast food places are open, if not all of them. Now I got here early. I got here early. And I walked right into that Walmart, and I bought the whole place. I'm gonna tell you right now, I bought the whole damn Walmart. Why? Because I'm tired of uh, sending people up here and waiting in line and what have you. All right, that's the line for the BDL. Uh, but if you, you know, you get up here at peak time, especially now that that we're hard locked down, so that takes Saturdays out of it. And I, I'm not sure if everybody is, but at least my barong guy is. So now you've only got Tuesdays and Thursdays to shop. And uh, when I left there, eh, there's probably 10, 12 people standing in line. But it equates to time. You know, I mean, how, how long does it take a person to shop, right? It took me over about an hour, taking my time. So every person standing in line over say whatever their maximum is 12 people that equates to an hour so get there early avoid the rush that's what i did forest g is hooked up on diapers um i bought a bunch of stuff for the ladies i was even so nice today folks i bought filipino style spaghetti sauce for the ladies now obviously i'm not going to be eating that I got the Italian style for me, but I got them some hot dogs so they can make Filipino style spaghetti, you know, with the sweet sauce and the hot dogs if they want. Uh, they can make me a tuna sandwich on that particular night and it will, it'll all be good. So 
so good time shopping in there good to see that things are starting to open up yeah just back home my friends and folks i would go to the market and do some shopping but i don't want my butter to melt or get hot and i'm gonna tell a story about that butter i sent fatima out there to get butter and she bought like three packs now it was not the same butter that she bought the last time which was delicious i chomped down into some uh, toast that helen made me yesterday and it tasted like a sour chemical taste that reminded me of that fake ham I bought back at the Divi Mart that day. That butter was spoiled. It was ruined, all three packs. Um, I mean, it was absolutely sour. I just threw the shit out. And uh, I don't want to take a chance in this heat of letting my butter melt and spoiling like that, that last shit did. But it, it was horrible. You know, when I first tasted it, I was like, what is this, buttermilk? You know, like some type of sour? Nah, it was regular butter that had been soured. Somebody somehow had skunked that fucking butter. You know, re-fucking froze it, re-refrigerated it. Uh, but that shit was, it was a killer. Absolute horribleness. Just like that, like I said, like that fake fucking bacon I bought at the Dippy Mart. You gotta be careful here, folks. I'll tell you the good, the bad, and the ugly about anything. And one of the uglinesses here is uh, quality of the food, freshness of the food. It's a challenge. You gotta kinda hunt and peck to make sure you get what you're looking for. That 7-Eleven is still closed. Got the Save More here, rocking on. I guess those folks are waiting there at the health center. Kalapakawan Health Center is what it said. I'm not sure if that's what they're waiting on or not. Seem to be. All right, coming up on the 7-Eleven at the uh, turnoff to the White Rock Beach Resort get another look the 7-eleven is open a couple people milling around in there and there are a couple dudes sitting over there man in that checkpoint they're sitting over there in that shade had a had a water jug just two two gentlemen pesos on those gas cylinders i'm not sure which size that was it's free delivery so if you're wondering about uh how much the cost of gas is it's 575 for those cylinders i see this young lady here this was blocked off and manned before but now it's blocked off and just unmanned we're already experiencing some uh, backed up traffic in this southbound direction towards the longapo more folks and then we're we're fucking rocking it oh yeah and again all of this traffic is uh backed up because of the checkpoint on the along the post side of the Mata In River, which is, you know, right there is a separator between Alongapo and Subic. Now we'll take a look over here. The new Norwegian Seafood Delight Trading says they're open. I can't tell if there's anybody inside or not. Uh, looks like there's open. Looks like there's maybe some folks in there. A 
life is starting to return to normal folks back to this uh this traffic and i, I said on the video before i never thought i would uh be so happy to see traffic and crowds of people but i am now because the more crowds i see it means the closer i am to some type of fucking freedom <laughs>